Next time, just so you know, when I have my lights back there and I'm honking at you to stop moving, that means stop. Any reason you're not carrying a driver's license on you, sir? A physical copy of one? Uh, 7082, heading north on Laguna. Boxman, Boxman, Boxman. Punching an officer, punching an officer. Taser deployed. Taser successful. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to show me attaching a Delta 82. 8165 on his 10 11. Let's see what's going on with the. Just like to usually, you know, stick around with my deputies. Just some, doing some supervisor work, that's all. Yes, yes. How's it going, man? So, when I pulled you over right back there, why did you continue to move up here when we were clearly stopped back there? Oh, uh, very sorry. Uh, uh, I heard sirens, I kept moving. Okay, okay. Well, next time, just so you know, you know, when I have my lights back there and I'm honking at you to stop moving, that means stop. I, I don't want you to keep going down here. That's the only reason I'm pulling you out here because I'm concerned that you might take off on me. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, the reason I'm stopping you today is because. Back there, you you were speeding a little bit and swerving a little bit. What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, the core very bad, uh, old one. Yeah, I'm. What's very bad? I'm sorry. The score very bad. The core. The car. Oh, the car is very bad. Okay. All right. Do you have your driver's license, proof of insurance, everything like that for me? Yes, yes, yes. Appreciate it, sir. I'm gonna actually need your your physical ID, not not your not the information. Do you uh, have the physical I, card? How do I get that? Okay, so if you go ahead and press your your flex your tab muscle. Yep. Right. You're gonna open that, and you're gonna see your driver's license. You're gonna drag that to the give muscle. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. The dra going to drag the driver's license to the give muscle. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Mustafa. Did I say that correctly? Yes, yes. All right, Mr. Mustafa. Going to sit sit tight with this uh with the sheriff right here. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Good to see you, Nate. You too, sheriff. Yes, sir. Hi, sir. How are you? Very good. Very good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks. Uh, can I make an appointment for uh, like right now? What's the use of having a sheriff? So you're new to uh, new to the city? Yes, yes, yes. I see. Jane just come in yesterday. Oh wow, nice. Where are you from? Uh, Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's cool, man. Yes, yes. You got all your um. I mean, I know it's uh, I know it can can be a little um, uh, political cr politically correct question, but were you able to get all your papers and things like that settled? Was settling Yay. in just fine? Almost there. Soon. I see. I I uh I know of some relatives of mine who moved to Canada, and you know that that kind of process can take a, a long while, uh, especially yeah. in the U.S. So, glad uh glad you're here in the U.S., sir. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Is that a car you got from uh, Saudi Arabia, or is this something that you just got from the U.S.? No, no. This is uh mine. I just bought it. I see. It's a nice car, man. I like Mercedes Benz. I drive one yes. myself. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. It is. It is. But uh, this one is uh, too old. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like the old ones? No, no. The steering is very bad. Oh, is it? Is it? Well, I'll tell you yes. what. You uh, keep on, you know, if you uh, get a nice job here, you get settled and everything, I'm sure you can get yourself a nicer Mercedes, man. Yes, yes, yes. I drive a, uh, a 2021 Mercedes uh, C-Class. Oh, wow, you have the money. <laughs> oh, well, I've been working for a while, sir, but I'm sure with someone like you, you sound pretty successful yourself, so... Um, I'm sure you'll you'll make a good living out here, sir. Yes, I hope so. What I might you? be a uh, officer like you, big money, big money. Oh, you're gonna become an officer, huh? Maybe, maybe. Have you uh have you have you done something like that back in uh, where you lived in Saudi Arabia? No, I was uh I used to work in restaurant. 
A restaurant. So you're probably what, were you a chef? Yes, yes, cook uh, burger, burger, burgers. Oh, you must have made nice burgers, man. That's nice. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Keep it up. I'm glad, glad to see you in the U.S., man. I'll let the officer here yes, continue yes, with you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Okay. I'm gonna stop him. So today I'm just gonna give you. Here's your last bag. Thank so you, today I'm just gonna give you a, a verbal warning for the speed. I, I see you have a perfect record, so I believe you're a good driver, and I'm not gonna go ahead and mess up your record by giving you a ticket today. Make sure you keep your speeds low, okay? And make sure you maintain your lane properly, okay? Kind of see you swerving a little bit. Okay, okay. I am sorry, officer. No worries about it. And make sure next time when a cop is on the when a cop is behind you and he's honking your and he's honking the siren, just stop right there, okay? Unless the you know the deputy or officer can tells you different directions to pull over somewhere else. Typically that means stop. Don't keep driving until you feel like stopping, okay? Okay. All right, man. So as soon as me and my partner back here head back to our vehicles, you're good to go, okay? Okay, man. Have a good day. Thank you for the the business. Yes, sir. You stay safe now. Okay, you too, man. Have a good one, sir. Good to see you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Have a good day. How's yes, it going, Sheriff? How's it going? Just wanted to stop on by, make sure everything was all good. Seems like everything was situated. Yes, sir. Stay safe out there now. Yes, sir. You too, sir. I don't want to show me code for or uh, clear back to the and available. Very good. You know, as a sheriff, I like to uh, make sure I stop on a few of my uh, guys' stops, make sure everything's all good. Um, which everything seemed really handled well on that stop. Um, guy is new to the country, so maybe he didn't know a couple of things around here, which is totally fine. But uh, he worked as a uh, chef in a restaurant and cooked burgers, so uh, we found something pretty interesting about him. He's from Saudi Arabia, so isn't that nice? He moved to the U.S., hopefully he can make a good living here. I mean, if you're working as a chef in a restaurant, then you can, you can definitely do a lot here, you know? So, yeah, we'll be back tonight and available. Let's see what else we can get into. I don't want to be out with Delta 82. Just right around the corner, might as well just stay. What happened with this guy? Uh, so in the opposite, so I'm at that parking intersection, right? And he's right in front of me. Yeah. So first of all, I see him rear end a local. Oh. Then, uh, his I don't know if it's just my eyes, but in my eyes, his windshield, his front windshield is gone. And uh, not only that, but he also was going. I'm pretty sure the speed limit in the city is 40. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, and I 40. caught him going. Yeah, he was going 51. Okay, very good. I'm with you, sir. All right. It's calm, bro. I'm not trying to get arrested. Oh. How's it going today, sir? I'm good, yeah. My name is Deputy James of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you have any reason why I pulled you over today? Yeah, I think I know. Okay, what do you think that reason is? I kind of, I was, I wasn't stopping too fast, you know. Yeah, you almost were, hit you that were tailgating, you, you almost, from my, I couldn't tell if you hit the local, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you hit the local, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I've All also right. caught you going 51 and a 40. Oh, Any shit. reason for the speed? No, no reason. So here's the deal, man. 40. All I'm asking is for 40. If you're going to speed, right. I give you five, maybe closer to 10. Yeah, cool. Please don't do more than that. Any more than that, I don't want anybody running on the middle street and you hit them, right? And it's, and you know, we still gotta fo follow the speed limit, okay? Yeah. All right, man. Do you have a driver's license, proof of insurance, anything like that for me? I actually have nothing on me, but and this isn't even my van. It's my homie right there. That's who I'm on the phone with. Yo, yo. I'm sorry, man. I know, I know. This is. He just said this. this uh, he's your homie, so, but um, can you yeah, can you this just? This is my car. Okay. Uh, well, is he using it for for? Is he borrowing it right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just told me to come just in case, like, complications and stuff. Okay, could you just, um, sorry, Nate, I'll, I'll handle him. Uh, can okay. you just, uh, park there on the street right, and he'll be right down? So, He's just on like a traffic stop. So, like I said, stop. you know that, I believe that's his vehicle, so... Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Right. you. Would you need my driver's license? Is he driving my car, or...? No, 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 that's not necessary, sir. He's a driver, right. so, um, thank you, thank you for your patience, sir. You can just park right up on the street, right over there on the curb, I and then, uh, you know, right where the red markings aren't existent, and then he'll be right with you, okay? Okay, see ya. Hello? Yo. Yeah, yeah, so sorry about that, sir. Uh, so, can I see your driver's license since it's not your vehicle and it's your friend? I just there? said I don't have my driver's oh, license. You got my driver's license? Okay. What's your name then, sir? Darius Brown. Darius Brown? Alright, Mr. Yeah. Darius Brown. Do you, uh, can you tell me your birthday? I don't remember my birthday, man. You don't know your birthday? Yeah, it's kind of like not a big deal for me, you know? 
I got you. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and run your name. I'll be right back. Any reason you're not carrying a driver's license on you, sir? A physical copy of one? Uh, I just came back from a vacation and, like, kind of lost it during there. I have to go buy it again. Do you know where you can get it from? Yeah, I know. I've gotten it a lot of times. Oh, you've been in this. I've seen your, I've seen your van right on a, on a Vespucci Boulevard quite a few times. Why didn't you circle around and go get a driver's license? No, I just started driving. My homie was driving. What? I was... I wasn't driving before, it was um, Deshaun driving. Oh, Deshaun, the guy in the Camaro? Yeah. Okay, you guys look so similar, so I wasn't so sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, what you want to do is make sure you get a physical copy. It's required by state yeah, law. Yeah, I'll go get that right after this. Okay, man. Alright. So you don't have a car of your own? I do, I do. Oh, so you're just borrowing the van. Actually. Yeah, I'm just borrowing the van. Okay. Now for me, sir, your windshield and all your windows are all smashed out. Is that normal or is that just my eyes? No, it's normal. Okay. I don't know. Deshaun doesn't know how to drive, so it kind of ruins everything. Okay, man. Well, I'll be right back with you in just a second if you just want to hang tight, okay? Alright. Appreciate you, man. I'm just going to give him a ticket for 1 to 15 over. Okay, for sure. Alright. Um, I, uh... I could stay here if you want, just to make sure that guy doesn't come back, but I don't think he will. He's just parked right there on the opposite side of the road. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, you can stick around if you want, but I think I think he's good. I'm finishing, I'm ready to take it right now as we speak. Okay, I guess I'll be on my way then in that case, sir. Alright, stay safe out there, Sheriff. Yes, sir, good work, I'll see you out there. Very good, so we're gonna break out of here. Hey, sir, the officer's just, uh, getting you all... Uh, wrapped up, but uh, I'll be leaving, sir. So have a good rest of your day, okay? All right, yeah, you too. Thank you. Very good. So we'll be breaking off, and uh, I think this officer's got it under control. I don't think that guy's gonna, you know, get back on the scene anytime soon. So we should be good. Adam, when I'll be clearing off, I'll be back today and available. Haywick Avenue, let's see, are there other units close by? There's two units up there. Delta 80. Charleston 2, I'll be uh, in route code 1 for reference. Delta 80, traffic. Very good, okay. You know, the whole point of uh, how MLRP does calls is, you know, if you're closer to the call, you take it, you know, and uh, we don't try to hog up every unit on a single call. Um, so if it's like a domestic, we don't try to get like five units on it. You know, we get maybe at most two or three if it, you know, escalates any further. Um, but, uh, that's the way MLRP do their thing, man. MLRP is good, man. If you guys have not applied, there's, um, multiple departments you can apply for. We definitely would love to see you. The one I'm in right now is the LEO, which is, I think, uh, the most obvious. Um, Civ is also really good, too. A lot of things you can do as a Civ. A lot of fun things. Uh, as you might have uh, seen, how cool and creative the RP can get can get pretty creative. You can do a lot of things depending on you know how fast you build yourself up as a person in the community. You know, it's not all prejudicial, or it, it, it isn't prejudicial at all. It's not targeted towards one group. We're a diverse community. We uh, we just enjoy roleplay, man. That's the whole thing about it. I'm gonna hit the highways, see if I can uh, find anything on those highways. Alright, let's cover some background before we dive into the next scenario. In the last episode of GTA 5 5M in episode 71, we arrested a suspect named Jackson Smith for criminal threats against a lady that he was stalking at the Pancage Motel and in other areas around the city due to some external family conflicts. Fast forward, this particular old lady filed a restraining order against Mr. Smith and was also trespassed from the Pink Cage Motel. So what does Mr. Smith do after being released? He goes to the Pink Cage Motel once again, stalks the same old lady, and then drops a couple of drugs outside of the gas station in North Los Santos. And to put the cherry on top of the cake, he runs many red lights in the city and gets pulled over. So at this moment, he's in a lot of trouble, and he's like a bum magnet. So let's pick it up from here and see what happens when LSPD stops him and requests for some additional units from BCSO. Remember 31, is there an available unit? Blasting through red lights. 
And you also ran a red light with me too, before I even pulled you over. Extra 55, can you just kind of do a little plain view check and see if there's anything in the car? Um, yeah, you ran through like three red lights, man. So that's, why, why are you going through red lights, man? Why aren't you stopping? Uh, you uh, no reason. Oh, no reason at all? You're just, I guess you just like blowing through red lights? Yeah, you know, uh, I couldn't be around, I can uh, you, that, you know, uh, they, there's really nothing going on nowadays, you know. Uh, we got a pick of the old lady, All I guess, right, well, involved. Uh, in other I'm words, not besides up to date with it, but we got a photo of her in a side seat. Um, okay, okay. The old lady. Very well, thank you, sir. You know, put in a call yep. about someone was taking pictures of her vehicle, and uh, she gave us a license plate of your vehicle when you know she was trying to make out the car. No, 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 that's not that's not me. The sh the, uh, that sheriff's deputy back kid there can even tell you I've never done that before. There is not a single thing on my record. I'm squeaky clean. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know why the old lady would put in a call giving us your plate, man. Yeah, uh, uh, no, no, I don't know why that other lady is uh, making it not 9-1-1 calls. So you're, you're just saying that she's out here putting false calls, just yeah. trying to get you in trouble for no reason? Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think she's like that, man. But, you know, with the three red lights, we got you. You're speeding through traffic, you know, being unsafe. You're you're honestly just going to have to step out the vehicle because there's there's no excuse for blowing three red lights, man. <laughs> Good job, three of them, and you kind of just told me you, you just did what you have to do. So, you know, you're just openly admitting to me that you you did it just to do it. So, you know, Mr. Smith, I'm going to need you to, you know, gently open your door and just take a step out. You know, don't do anything too crazy. Adam, when we have a Go flight risk, around. LTD, can we get one unit? LTD, Grove Street. He's fleeing, he's fleeing, he's fleeing. Black Audi VEU 944. Adam, when I got secondary call out, sorry about that. What are we, 789 now, going on Hawick Avenue, heading east, opposite lanes of traffic. So continuing, 7192, eastbound Haywick. Taking a left now, heading northeast Haywick, Meteor Street now. Still continuing opposite lanes of traffic, 7110, Meteor Street, heading northeast. Passing Vinewood PD now, 7113, heading northbound Meteor Sill. Passing Clinton Gas Station, 7098, still heading north. We've been taking a left now into the Vinewood Hills neighborhoods. North Concord Drive, 6077. Still going to be continuing, 7093, heading northwest Concord. Alright, 6078 now. He's going to be North Concord, now taking a left-hand turn, heading southbound on Baytree Canyon. Heading downhill. 6089 Alta. Alright, he's on Alta now, so heading south. Units behind us, get in front of us, go, go, go. 7133 now, heading south to Alta. Taking a right on occupation. Correction, Haywick. Heading northwest, 7129, taking a right now, heading north on Laguna. 7136. 7082 heading north on Laguna. He's at the Gold Postal area. Boxman, Boxman, Boxman. Careful, careful. He's out of the vehicle. Foot bail, foot bail, foot bail, foot bail. Sir, stop. I got lethal, I got lethal. Stop. Gonna be on foot. Punching an officer, punching an officer. Taser deployed. Taser successful. Final stop. We're gonna be 7082 in Laguna. Watch crossfire, Lieutenant. Subject down, subject down. I got you, Carlos, on you, sir. Alright. Going in. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Don't reach, don't reach. Subject reaching, subject reaching. Don't reach, don't reach. Do not reach, man. Mr. Jackson, enough. Enough, man, I told you. Old lady, let it go, man. You don't gotta get... Stop reaching in your stop back pocket. Smith. 
Stop reaching in your back pocket, man. Enough. Do not reach. You know what? He's not going to stop. Carlos, I'm with you. Let's try to converge on him. If he does reach for something, we have a clear effect of fire on him. All right. Yep, I'm on you. Don't keep on reaching. You sh you keep on reaching, you'll be shot. You understand me? Stop. I got a taser. I got a taser. Stop. Stop. Stop, Mr. Smith. Don't do it, Mr. Smith. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want you to have to get hurt anymore. You're on the ground. Get away from Ow, me. shit. Stop. Stop. Get him, get him, get him. Just moving, moving, moving. Get away from me. Stop. Can I go ahead and get a siren check around the uh, perimeter, please? Uh, let's uh, let's one of us uh, just make sure to make sure he's not critically injured anywhere else. Um, I'm just gonna get a siren check done on the on the on the perimeter here. Oh. Out of one times one ten fifteen, we can clear the air. Let's get the vehicle searched and whatnot, and let's get a EMS to roll out to seven zero eight three for Taser Bronx. Very good. Very good, very good. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're just pictures, oh. man. He's not hurt. Like paper cuts, maybe, but they ain't, they ain't too much. I'm gonna fucking shoot you. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, Mr. Smith, what's going on? Uh, you up at the gas station off of Clinton Avenue? Uh, no. Hold on, fellas. Was he read his rights? No, he wasn't. Read him his rights. Yeah, read me your rights. Read him his rights real quick. will be held against you in the court of law, man. If you, gotta, if you can't afford an attorney, want to be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights being read to you? Yeah. Lady Rock, All right, man. I'll take these prongs out of you now. Carlos, when you send him to jail, sir, get him with stalking as mm -hmm. well. Stalking. Stalking. Uh, what are you talking mm -hmm. about? We know we know what's going on, Mr. Smith. You made your intentions known to me and to the other officers today, so I think it's pretty evident as to what's going on. That picture in your seat, not good, not looking too good for you, man. I told you, if you keep on doing it, if you keep on insisting, you'll get the stock in charge like I told you before. Uh, well, this time when I get out of jail, I'm gonna uh, fucking shoot that bitch. <laughs> Mr. Smith, why do we have you drop and leave, uh, leave plants at the gas station? We have the exact full description of you and your vehicle with the plate. Oh, that's where they went. Can I get them back? You won't be getting these back, no. God damn it. I was planning on fighting the sheriff over. Hey, sir, uh, Mrs. how are you? Did you deploy the There's taser? Did you the taser? I'm sure you can walk just fine. Uh, no, sir, I don't, I don't think I shot my taser. No, don't touch me. Uh, I'll, I'll kick you. Okay, okay, okay so if you want to go and break off, then you should touch me. I'll fucking kick you. And we can get, uh, so we can get some calls out there. Gotcha. I'm, I'm looking for my glass because he got one good punch on me. Oh gosh, okay. Wants to hog tie you. Yeah, that's some animal. I can try to find it for you. All right. It's right here somewhere, now. Yeah, somewhere right there. Oh, here we go. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do have to do this. You, you know why? Don't, don't act stupid with it. Don't act stupid about it, man. Appreciate it, sheriff. Of course, no problem. All right, man. Just take another car. I'm searching for a moment. All righty, good work. Okay. Good work, gentlemen. You want a spit bag put on you? Uh, he's, he's got a gas can fitting in his big pocket. Well, I never thought I'd get spit on by a uh, weird, weirdo like him, but yeah. Wow, he just tied into like 15 different things in the past 30 minutes. I think so. so if you want to tag him with the uh, possession of a controlled substance uh, with intent to distribute as well. Uh, I got that, and then I got stalking, Man, and then assault on an officer, and felony evading. So, all right, yes, sir. All right, great work. Yes, sir. Let me know if you need. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Emails I open. Will. Very Next good. Control, I want to get EMS started. The uh, intersection. Great work, Mr. Harris. Strawberry Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, I think we're gonna be clear here. We should be able to go back tonight. Sweet. Let's do it, guys. Yes, sir.
I don't want to be betting it and available. I'll be clear. 